Welcome back to Hair Transplant Reality, guys. Today is going to be a really fun video for me. It is going to be 40, 50 photos showing the full transformation of my hair transplant from before the hair transplant all the way until today. So hopefully you guys are psyched because I am, and it's been a really crazy journey this last year. Thank you to all my fans who've been supporting me. I love your DMs. I really appreciate all your comments and support. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. Let's get to 1,000 subs. I do have one more major update to share with you before we get into the photos though and that is that i am launching my own product line for derma rollers so if you're interested in that i will be making videos showing the results that our derma rollers have had on some of my friends which have been crazy and uh, also the link will be in the description if you want to buy them so make sure to check that out that probably won't be up for like another week so if you're seeing this in a week or two from now the link will be there if you're seeing it the first few days Check back in a week or stay tuned for those videos because I promise you, you're not going to want to miss it. There is so much good content coming. Um, I'm not on any products right now. No finasteride, no minoxidil, no ninoxidil, absolutely nothing. So what you're seeing is me completely clear products for the last few months. Um, and it's it's been really cool. I obviously have had some shedding from those products. So I expect to see if it can get better. But let me go ahead and give you a little close up of what it looks like right now. And uh, basically... We're actually about 95% done with it. Obviously, it could still thicken, and I still have some growing in because of the shedding. But overall, super happy so far. Doing a second hair transplant, as I said, in September. So don't go anywhere. We have a long journey ahead of us still. And it's going to refine this front hairline and make it even better and more natural and softer. And then it'll be adding a ton of hair to the back to give me the ability to actually have a full hairdo. Um, but guys, thank you so much again. Let's go ahead and start showing you these photos. All right, so obviously these first photos are, of course, me with my long hair when I was actually showing Dr. Praneen what my hair loss was like, and he was evaluating me along with other doctors, and then I got a haircut so you could see what I would look like with normal length hair before surgery, and of course, this is day of surgery. Um, the next few photos will be the first 14 days following the surgery, so of course, there's a lot of uh, bruising and a lot of discoloration, not just in my face, but in the hairline itself. There's a few different photos here showing me either smiling or not to try and give you the most realistic look of what my face is looking like as I continue to change. Now, guys, month one to three sucks. The ugly duckling stage is the worst, and uh, I don't know how to explain it other than that, but it is terrible. But we are now approaching month four. So month three was really good, and I actually started to grow hair. And then by month four, I was actually like a pretty good hairline. So that was very exciting. Um, and I obviously went to Brazil at month four and a half. So that was me. And it's looking pretty good there. And I actually might want to cut my hair a little shorter. I kind of like it shorter. Right now I've grown it out quite a bit. And I will be shaving it completely off at the end of August. So don't miss that. That's going to be a painful video to film. But should be very realistic. And of course month six is where that hairline really came in. And I started to get very excited. Um, and since then it's gotten thicker. And it has gotten better, but as you can see, guys, month 9, 10, 11, all the way into 12, there's not a ton of photos, but this transformation right here from day one all the way until year one is drastic. Um, I, I know a lot of you are going to have comments about whether my hair looks perfect or not, but the honest truth is I'm super excited to have my hairline back, and I'm super thankful to Dr. Pneen, so big shout out to him. He did the hair transplant, and he did a really good job. I can't wait for him to do my next one. If you are interested, feel free to hit him up with questions. He's been very helpful at teaching me a lot about this entire process. Um, I'll drop his info in the description for you guys. And if you are going to get a hair transplant or considering it, feel free to hit me up on Instagram and ask me any questions you want. My Instagram is on screen. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.